Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, July 24, 2010. This week, Shape Up number 2, Creating an Offset Circle Frame. Last week, we began a new series of video tips that will show you how to work with shapes to create really simple and interesting accents for your digital projects. The series continues this week with a tip for making funky little frames with circles. To create an offset circle frame, Begin by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. Set the foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background. I'm going to choose this orange color and select OK. Next, get the Ellipse tool. This tool shares the space on the toolbar with the Rectangle tool, the Rounded Rectangle tool, and the Custom Shape tool. Clicking and holding any of these tools reveals the hidden tools beneath it. Click on the Ellipse tool from the Flyout menu. In Photoshop, the next step is to select the Shape Layers icon here in the Options bar across the top of the editing window. In both Photoshop and Elements, the next step is to click the Create a New Shape Layer icon here in the Options bar. Holding the Shift key, click and drag out a circle on your document. Holding the Shift key ensures a perfect circle. The shape will be created on its own layer in the Layers panel. Next, click on the Subtract from Shape layer here on the Options bar. Shift, click, and drag out a circle on top of the first circle that you created. Without letting go of the Shift or the clicker, press the Space bar on your keyboard to reposition the new circle. Yep, I know, it's a little bit like playing Twister, isn't it? Right hand red, left hand blue. When you have your new circle in place, let go of the space bar and then the clicker and then the shift key. This cuts a circular hole in your original circle creating a frame. Once your frames are made, you can do several things with them. You can fill your frame with a photo by dragging a photo underneath it, or you can fill it with digital paper or digital element. You can also digitally glue paper to it by using it as a clipping mask. I'll come over here and Alt and click in between the layers to create a clipping mask. Or you can apply a layer style to the frame, like the WOW plastic style that comes preloaded in Elements. This will give it a different look. These fun little frames are an easy way to add a little whimsy to your pages and get more from the kits you purchase. You better shape up, cause I need a man.